for the record, when did you and Mary Salem become uh, partners? We have Life partners. Yeah, we have different part, uh, different uh, um, uh, um, start other, dates. Start dates. Uh, Mary said, "Well, I was uh, uh, in Chapel of Change Theatre Company had been, um, y- you know, established and founded. We did a lot of work, and Mary came to start working on a production. And uh, over, I think, two years, uh, she was um, she was working in our works, and and I didn't know she was actually interested in me." until I discovered it and then we began to we did a work together called The Descent which is a work that has travelled the world and um, opened festivals and uh, and I think it was during the, the, the tour of The Descent which is you know it's opened festivals in Cairo in, in, in throughout Europe and it's a, just a two handed just Mary and I on stage for 90 minutes so I think it was during that work that we became um, deeper so uh, what year was that? It was the descent, I, this, the descent was 1996. It first started, but it too, it's it's toured for about 10 years. Right, and yeah. you have a seven-year-old daughter. Yes, okay. Asia. Okay, and how's Chapel of Change going? We're coming out of a hiatus. We we we, we did a production, uh, our first theatre work uh, for five years. Uh, Earlier last year, a work called uh, Immaculate Endlings, which will be staged in Melbourne. Um, uh, probably in the end of this year, uh, so look out for that. But uh, you know, there's a lot of people who are waiting for us to come back. We we were we were we've done a lot of international touring. We find that curiously that our overseas profile is much higher than here in Melbourne. Partly our fault because we haven't done enough local work. And there's a great experience to be taken from from touring. You've been going since 1992, though. That's right. Can I ask you quite bluntly? Um, how you sustain yourself? Are you? Do you get subsidies? Are you self-sustaining? We're self-sustaining. I, we've had one. Really? Gra- yeah, we've had one grant in the, our entire history, and that was a grant to go to Europe from the Australia Council. But we are totally self-sustaining. We just we live off the the you know the oily rag. We are artists who are we are we are so independent. We 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 find different ways to make a living. I mean, I I I have a, a, a you know. Um, uh, from you know when we're overseas, we we balance our tours with workshops, with all sorts of different ways. I mean, or most artists have to find different ways of supporting themselves. Our work, for the most part, because we also gestate work for a long period. We're not six week production. We don't go into six week production schedules. We will work on something for six months. Do you have other jobs that the income from which? Helps keep the thing going. That's right. absolutely, now? absolutely. No, no, it's all. It, I mean, our, our, if we break even on a production, we're very happy. Right. Um, so, so, and if we break even on an overseas tour, we're very happy. So, what, so. what else do you do? You, are you, when you say other jobs, I'm thinking, you know, does he wait tables? Does he design buildings? What else do you do? Oh well, um, uh, that is a personal question. No, that's okay. A uh, film production. Uh, okay. I, yeah, I, I freelance. So. Um, Nothing I'm particularly interested in talking about, but but because mostly most of the the contractual work is for commercial right. uh, in commercial areas. But so. the main point is that you are self-sustaining. That's right. Yeah. Dance, theatre, film group. That's right. Yes. This is something that a lot of people like to hear. Is it? Because okay. there's always this, you know, give them a grant to start off, but if they can't yeah. build up a sufficient market or audience yeah. to keep them going, mm. then people start questioning them. Why are we continually giving yeah. them grants? I'm not saying that, yeah. but that is a general conservative yeah. feeling. So. That's interesting, isn't it? Because our experience overseas is not that. One of the frustrations we find is that when that here in Melbourne, people that's what people talk about. They talk about who's getting the grants, who's got the money, who's doing the work. And overseas, it's not that. It's it's the passion of the art. Yeah. It's the passion of the making. It's the ability to just do it. And people just want to do it. And they'll find every way to do it. Uh, they don't sit around waiting for a grant. And um, we've never done that. 